Hello squad, welcome back to the channel. And just so y'all know, my face not wash yet, teeth not brush yet, and nothing. So, but at least you're not smelling like morning breath, right? <laughs> so, this is day two. I did my eyebrows on Saturday night. It's currently Monday morning. I never showed you guys how I washed my face on day one. I'm not supposed to get my eyebrows wet at all, but I think now I can gently wash my eyebrows. It's day two with the mild soap. And I'm using my regular face wash that I'm using is the, the Zero Face Wash. This is 100% um, natural and plant-based. It's also a vegan. But I've been using this to wash my face for the past um, two months. I'm gonna show you guys how I just wash it without getting the water on it that I did on day one. I can gently wash it with soap right now, but I'll just do that um, for my skincare routine later tonight before I go to bed. All right, I'm gonna like on my lip look. So I'm just gonna start the process. I'm gonna brush my teeth first. <laughs> on dry face but my hands so I take it and just take a little bit like this and then I just rub it in my hands and I have it like this and then I just massage it into my skin and just because I don't want to get my eyebrows wet I just apply the product around it Trying to stay away from the eyebrows itself. And then that's the soap. I'm messy. I know it don't like set up really well, but that's just how natural products are. Now that the soap is on my face, <clears throat> I really hate how I sound. Kind of sound like one mine. Okay. Now that the soap is on my face, I'm just going to wash the bottom part of my face, leaving the soap up here because I don't want to wash everything to get the eyebrows wet. Okay. After that, I just grab a hand towel and I'm going to dry, pat dry the part that I washed and that will get the hand towel sort of damp. And then I go ahead and just wipe the top part around my forehead to get it cleaned. I know you're supposed to pat dry, but obviously I don't think pat dry is going to get the soap off my skin. And as you can see, I did not get the brows wet whatsoever, which is good. So because this is day two, I am supposed to wash my brows with a gentle wash. This is 100% natural, so I can use this. And then I'm supposed to apply like a healing gel just to, to prevent any infection or anything like that. But I'm not going to do that until later. So I'll come back tonight when I'm doing my skincare routine to show you guys how I am going to clean my brows and make sure it's set good to help along the process of it healing in its natural state. This is the second set that Sage has done for me because you guys know that I posted a video before of me first getting it done. But I don't think I took care of it well in the healing process so not a lot of it got transferred over. So my eyebrows just kind of went back to normal. You can only see certain deposits but the deposits were in the area where my hair, where I actually have hair. So it never really made much of a difference because my hair was actually already there. But I love these shapes better. To me, they're they are perfect. I would hope that when it finish, it just heal as how it looks right now. I really do hope that's what happens. So my eyebrows are still dry. My face is cleansed and moisturized. And I'll come out and show you guys how I'm going to wash them later tonight with my skincare routine. This is the next day. I actually did not show you guys how I washed my eyebrows last night. And quite frankly, I didn't. I just put the gel on top of it. I just washed my face and put the gel on top of it. But I'm gonna show you guys how I wash it now because I told you that I would. Again, I'm using this. I'm just going to wet my hands. I already washed it because I'm brushed my teeth and everything already. And do what I did yesterday, but this time I'm gonna apply it to my eyebrows. 
and I'm just doing it gently. I'm not rubbing my eyebrows too rough because I don't want to get rid of the scabs. I want them to fall off naturally. But now that the soap has been applied to my face, I'm just going to literally just throw the water soap. <laughs> I'm just gonna splash the water on my face to get rid of the soap and I'm not going to rub my eyebrows because I don't want to mess it up, you know? And oh, took out too much. But then I'm just gonna take a towel and just pat dry. No, I'm going to pat dry my eyebrows. I'm not rubbing it, literally just patting. And there you have it. My face is washed. Well, my face is cleansed. Moisturize my skin. So I got like a a care package from Sage when I went to do this set of brows. I also got one the last time as well. But she actually gave me like a, a gel packet and an ointment. But I'm using this. And basically. I get an applicator thing. You can also use um, ear swabs. But then I just squeeze a little bit onto this, like this much, and I just dab it onto my brows. I had done this before, but I don't know. I think I started scratching it in my sleep and that's why it wasn't it didn't deposit as well but i'm trying this time y'all i'm trying and that's what they look like when i apply the gel and then i just wipe it off because i continue using it i don't know if that's sanitary i should change it but as far as i see my eyebrows are scabbed over currently found wrong but by the way she just like popped this in and it just gives you like some self-care instructions and that completes what i do to my eyebrows i'm pretty much i'm gonna do that until it starts stripping i'm gonna come back when it starts stripping to show you what it looks like in the process of healing okay i'll see you guys in a couple of days this is five days and it is starting strip no I find myself scratching it in my sleep I'm trying not to do that but now it's peeling but at this point I'm still washing and I'm still putting the ointment on so it is currently Friday night and this is what they are looking like now. They're stripping, so it kind of looks weird. <laughs> like I have like bald patches on my eyes. But you can see that the end of the tail actually peeled already, and you can see the ink deposit on the side. Get zooming. Um, around my face is a little bit dry and stripping. Around my eyes are very delicate, so all around here got a little bit of bruising, so that's why the scab is on the bottom as well. Cracked, <laughs> looking like that. I have um, a dentist appointment tomorrow, and I am a little bit self-conscious about my eyebrows, but I decided I'm not going to care if them ox. I'm gonna be like, oh, I did microblading, and this is why it's healing over, so. I think it kind of looks scary. It would have been fitting if it was Halloween time. <laughs> but yeah, it, it looks weird, honestly. It's part of the process. Anyways, that's it. I'll catch you guys on another day. It's currently day seven of the brows and that's what it's looking like. Most of it is stripping away, but you can see the deposits behind it, the ink behind it. I can't wait until we finish strip because right now it just look <laughs> that's it I'll see you guys in another day alright guys this is the last morning it's currently Tuesday November 17th and this is what my eyebrows are looking like after they fully peeled 
I come under the light. They look pretty good. So this completes everything. So it completely healed, peeled and everything in 11 days. If you have any other questions about my experience, leave them down in the comments. I'm also, for those who actually live in the GTA region, I'll also link um, Sage's page down so you can book your own appointments <laughs> and everything. If there's anything else, leave it in the comments. I thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.